Welcome to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in Boulder, Colorado. My name is Craig. I'm a meteorologist with Ceres working at NOAA Boulder, and I'll be guiding you on this tour. The Global Monitoring Laboratory, also called GML, is one of the Earth System Research Laboratories at NOAA Boulder. GML conducts research in Boulder and all over the world. The research of GML is in three main areas. First, tracking greenhouse gases around the world. Second, understanding how radiation from the sun is absorbed by the Earth's surface, as well as the role of clouds and aerosols in the atmosphere. Third, tracking and guiding the recovery of ozone high in the atmosphere. How do scientists measure greenhouse gases? Samples are collected in a few different ways. First, samples are collected by NOAA researchers 24 hours a day at GML's four observatories. In the Arctic Circle, in Utqiagvik, formerly Barrow, Alaska, north of the equator in Moana Loa, Hawaii, south of the equator in American Samoa, and at the South Pole in Antarctica. Second, Samples are collected using aircraft and tall towers by NOAA researchers and partners we work with. Third, atmospheric samples are collected using a portable air sampling unit. The portable sampling unit is the size of a suitcase, containing glass flasks that volunteers worldwide fill with an air sample. The air samples are then sent back to Boulder and analyzed at the GML laboratory. GML takes and receives over 20,000 air samples every year. Another way GML scientists measure gases in the atmosphere is with an air core. The air core is a really, really long tube that is coiled up inside a styrofoam case. The air core goes up in the atmosphere with a weather balloon all the way to 85,000 feet. Two are launched at the same time, so scientists can make sure they gather the same information. After the balloon pops, the air car falls down, collecting air all the way down. What do scientists measure in air samples? GML researchers measure carbon dioxide, methane, and approximately 65 other atmospheric gases worldwide. It's important to measure gases in the atmosphere frequently all around the world because the amount of carbon dioxide and other gases is different in different locations around the world and also changes with season during the year. How long has the GML measured gases in the atmosphere? Measuring carbon dioxide in the atmosphere actually started before NOAA, in 1958 in Mauna Loa, Hawaii. GML has now taken over this work and expanded the number of locations around the world measurements are taken. Why does the GML measure ozone high in the atmosphere? In 1985, scientists discovered the ozone hole over Antarctica. An ozone hole is an area where there is much less ozone in the atmosphere. Ozone high in the atmosphere is important because it reflects solar radiation. Less ozone means more solar radiation will come through the atmosphere. Scientists figured out that the ozone hole was developing because of certain types of gases used in aerosol propellants and cooling devices such as refrigerators. In 1987, these gases, called chlorofluorocarbons, were banned in a worldwide agreement called the Montreal Protocol. How is ozone measured? Researchers use an instrument called an ozone sonde to measure ozone in the atmosphere. Weather balloons with the ozone sondes attached are launched near Boulder and from the four observatories to take ozone measurements. The balloons reach a height of about 100,000 feet before they pop and then fall back to the ground with a parachute. 
data is sent back to NOAA using a radio antenna. The Global Monitoring Laboratory's mission has always been to provide high-quality, long-term records of the atmospheric composition to understand climate change better. You can learn more about this research at gml.noaa.gov. Take a look around our outreach pages to learn more about all we have to offer. Have a good day and stay curious. Thank you.